This is my newest computer, the Zeta. I've always wanted a computer you program with front panel switches, so I made one. If I switch this on, you'll see it has readouts for the address and data buses. And if I start clocking the processor, it'll start executing instructions. The RAM is uninitialized at the moment, so what it's executing is just gibberish. If I push this switch, the Z80 will give control to the front panel switches after a few clocks. I can now start entering the program. The first instruction, at address 0, is to load the next byte to the accumulator. And at address 1, I'll put in the value 54. Next, a similar instruction to load the next byte into register B, and the value 78. Now I'll start entering the code for Euclid's algorithm, which tells me the highest common factor of those numbers. I'm going to enter about 23 instructions and all, so I'll skip over that bit. Now the algorithm is in RAM, I'll flick this switch again and hold the reset line down while giving a few more clocks. Now as I press clock again, it starts executing the program from RAM. I should probably get a manicure before I do videos like this. I'm just going to pull up the trace from my Z80 simulator to check everything is running correctly. And now we're just going to have to push the clock button several times until we finish the program. This is actually a bit slow, so I'll use this hand crank which is connected to a rotary switch connected to the clock line. The address and data readouts just show the value of the buses at any time, so you're seeing instruction fetches and data reads, um, and sometimes complete rubbish because they continue to show the buses even when the processor is not driving them. The only way I'm going to know that this program is actually finished is because I've instructed it to write the result to a special address, 128. And there it is, address 128, value 6, which you might have already figured out is the highest common factor of 78 and 54.